Well, this winter series of atmospheric rivers created pathogens that are now attacking crops across California. That's right. CBS 13's Tori Apodaca getting answers about how it will impact the food you put on your table. This winter battered California with rain and flooded out farms across the state. Because of climate change, there's more moisture in the atmosphere. Crops like this almond tree now have branches covered in this gumming, being attacked by the pathogen Phytophthora. They're known as water molds. Experts say Phytophthora is usually a soil-borne disease that attacks the roots of trees. But now the water mold is attacking the leaves, branches, and fruit itself. It was able to swim sort of up the trees and cause diseases in different parts of the trees where you would never see it otherwise. These leaves are curled in, and that's a response to the warmth. It's not because this tree isn't healthy. James Chinchiola's cherry trees in Lodi are thriving, but he's paying attention to leaf size, leaf color, and fruit size. Direct risk from pathogens, again, to humans, I would say, is minimal. The tree is instead at risk, producing a smaller, less desirable crop. People like big, plump, juicy cherries. So the more infected trees, the less crops available, equaling higher prices at grocery stores. If the orchard becomes flooded, uh, that pathogen can then swim essentially from, from one, uh, one tree to the next. Farmers are working on better drainage to avoid the future spread of this water mold. Well, UC Davis researchers have received about 20 calls from farmers impacted. It could also hit strawberries, tomatoes, potatoes, blueberries, cranberries, pears, cherries, and apples.